This is FlexSpeak, the voice enunciator module. It's a new product from Intermotive. I'm going to go over a few features of the product. The module has an interface on the side that allows the user to uh, control the volume coming out of the speaker, and that's here, this volume knob. And there's a small slot right here that accepts a micro SD card, and that's where the audio files will be stored for the module to play. And then right here we have a COM port and that will accept a proprietary intermotive download cable and that can be used to uh, field update the module with new code or flash new code to it as necessary. So I'll be covering some of the features of the FlexSpeak module. It has a total of 64 inputs that the, the module will play an audio message based on that input going active. Eight of those inputs are discrete low true inputs and those are represented here by these eight push buttons. And in addition, it has 56 virtual inputs over LIN. And so, for example, the Flex Speak module can be used in conjunction with the Flex Tech system. The Flex Tech system will monitor any inputs that the user wants to have trigger an audio message, and then the Flex Tech system will send that command over LIN to Flex Speak, at which point Flex Speak will enunciate that message. So, there's four parameters that each input has on the FlexSpeak module and those are all configurable by the user. So each audio message has a priority, priority number one being the highest priority and priority number four being the lowest priority. So if two messages come in at the same time, the message with a higher priority will be played first and then the message with the lower priority will be played after that. The other feature it has is if a priority one message comes in while a lower priority message is being played, the priority one message will cancel playback of that message to be played immediately. So you would want to use this for a more important message or an emergency situation, something that you want to be played right away and cancel all other playback. So I'll demonstrate that here. Input six is a priority one message, whereas input eight is a lower priority message. So I'll begin playing uh, the message associated with input eight, and then I'll interrupt that with a priority one message from input six. Warning, low fuel, refuel. Warning, engine is overheating. Pull over and turn off engine. Another feature that, that you can configure is each input can be played either one time per trigger event or it can be played every 10 seconds while the trigger is active. It can be played every 30 seconds while the trigger is active or it can be played continuously while the trigger is active. So for example, input four is configured to be played continuously. So I'll demonstrate that for you now. Caution, doors are closing. Caution, doors are closing. Caution, doors are closing. The other feature it has is that it has a queue of up to 16 messages that can be played. So if two messages are received simultaneously or a trigger goes active during playback of another message, the module will store the new message into a queue. And so as soon as, as the other messages are done playing, then it will play that one next. So I'll demonstrate that for you here. Watch your step. Entry door open. Stop requested. Caution, doors are closing. The MP3 files are stored on the micro SD card, which is inserted in the module. So the users can customize what message they want to be played based on what input. So for example, the user can record their own messages and save them as an MP3 file, let's say, and store that on the, uh, on the micro SD card. And the SD card is expecting the, the name of the file to be track one through track 64 for a total of 64 inputs. So the user can record a message and then save it as say track one. And then um, they can configure the module to have input one play track one, for example, or they could reconfigure it and have input two play track one. So there's, there's any number of configurations that the user can use and once the audio files are stored on the SD card, then the user can uh, reconfigure the module to have any input play that audio file.
For more information, call us at 1-800-969-6080. Thanks for watching.